welcome to my channel. This is Darcy's Misadventures with Mixed Media. I hope you are all doing well today. I had a question in one of the groups I'm in, so I'm going to try to answer that question. And it's a private group, so I won't say the group name or the person's name, but she said, I made a journal and forgot to add some of my vintage book pages and specialty paper pages. I don't want to take apart the binding. How have you added book pages, specialty pages, envelopes, etc., to your junk journals? So, let's see if I can think of some ways and show some ways that I already know. Oops. So, well, as you can see, I used to make journals much brighter than I do now. So I thought I would go ahead and take my Grover journal and add some pages in. Obviously, I don't spend a lot of time in this journal. Probably will end up being like an idea journal. So more pages won't hurt. Plus, adding in the pages will just be more ideas. So let's say I want to add a page that is like a double page like this. So this is, um, that's my great, that's my grandpa's writing. This is one of his pages. Um, I think I will cut off the bottom though because it's my, my journal's short and I probably could have, should have ironed it, <laughs> but I didn't. I actually, I dyed it yesterday, so. And I think I'm going to go ahead and go up this line too. But I want to keep that top part with his writing. So one way would be you could just add this whole page in like this using some washi tape or you could use paper that you glue down like you would washi tape. So I'll show both ways real quick. And music paper or book page is a nice uh, paper to use or some dyed tape or anything you want. I mean there's there are no rules. You do what you like, you do what you want, you cut it, you tear it, you do it the long way, you do it the short way. It doesn't even it's your journal for you to do what you want so I'm just gonna so for one side I'm gonna use this music ironically he didn't like music and all because a music teacher told him he couldn't sing when he was in grade school which so then he just never liked music because of that negative experience which Ironically, his son, my dad, loves music and listens to it every chance he gets, so. Okay. Actually, what I think I'm going to do with this is Alright. Which one do I like better? It doesn't really matter. I do like this one. The one that's going to show the most. So I'm going to glue this down. There's a few different ways you could do this. And of course my phone's ringing, because why not? You can use um, glue stick, tacky glue, whatever. I'm just using the art glitter glue because that's the first thing I picked up. Honestly, that is the only reason. So you can see I've already got duct tape in here. Not duct tape. Washi tape. Um, sometimes things don't glue real great to washi tape. So I'm going to glue it mostly to the page itself. So I'm basically just making a hinge, but you don't want to go all the way down into the spine because it will bulk it up. So gluing that down there, and then I'm going to, oh, I could do it this way, or I could do it this way, so it's a flip out. So if I do it this way, you could either glue it here, and then it'll flip out and open up. You could glue it here, and it'll still flip out. It just depends which side you not worry about covering. But if it's a vintage book page, chances are there's a margin here anyway. If it's your folded in half or whatever. So that probably won't be a problem. Um, I think I'm going to do it this way. Which will give me a flip out and it'll still fold. So I'm just going to do this side here. I don't want to glue it down on like I don't I want to make it be able to flip still so I don't want to get glue on this side just and I'm just 
I don't want to get the, I'm leaving like a sixteenth of an inch or an eight, eighth of an inch somewhere around there in between where it folds and where I put the paper just so that it will open and close easily and not get bulk. Of course, then I have to like get the glue that I put in there. But you know, that's how it is. What do you see, Hallie? My kitty sees something. Her tail's going. So now, I flip out like this and then open so it turns like that. So that is one way to add a page. Yes, it's getting, it'll, it'll flatten as it's in there, so it's okay. This page is fragile, so I will not add anything to that. Um, let's see. Now, say you have a short page. Let me see if I have a short page in here. Oh, this is another way that you could add a page. I think I was must have been thinking about adding it this way. Or maybe I just had this paper here because I was going to use it um, for tags and stuff inside and pockets. Probably why. So, let me see. What else do I have? I had some other book pages that I brought over and some, oh yeah, some of these. Let's see. Because I don't have a lot of, ooh, jelly plate prints. I hadn't started jelly plate, doing jelly plate prints when I made this journal. So, that we can consider our specialty pages. And look at this, we got Grover's Colors right here. So, let me go ahead and, this by the way is in one of my junk journal, no, my digital. So if you check out my shop, which is linked down below, it's Eclectic Junk Journals. And I do have some digital kits in there. Uh, a couple of the, or, or sets, like this isn't really a kit, it's a set. You can uh, mix and match the pages with other kits, which is what I like about them. Um, I don't like to do digital kits that are just, let me just cut everything up and make a journal. I, I really hope that you would um, make it your own, you know, use it with other digital kits, mix and match, uh, maybe use the jelly plate prints as backgrounds and use fussy cut images uh, or collage. These are fun to use in collage as well. All right, I don't necessarily want the whole page. So, I'm going to take this and fold it in half. So, if it were like uh, vintage pages that you wanted to put in, that maybe you wanted to put on the edge like this, I'm trying to think of how to attach it so that it would, and if you have a little room to come out, that would be better. Let's try washi tape. We'll see how that works for us. Don't mind me. Sorry, my, oops, excuse my reach. I don't know, it's my desk. Stuff's all, who knows where it's gonna be on my desk. All right, the nice thing about washi tape is that it will bend. So I'm going to, is this the page I wanna put this on? Not really. <laughs> Let's. Um, do, 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 do. All right, so like we did before, like you could put it on the edge of a page, you could use your washi tape or your glue and put it on the edge like we did on the inside, only this time it would open up here and open up, you know, like that. And then I'm trying to figure out if this will work. So we would leave this out a little bit and then put the washi tape on here. And then fold that in half. So now that's on here, but you could still open it up on each side. Now we may wanna take it on the other side and put in other wash, another piece of washi tape because otherwise this washi tape, it won't keep it there and the sticky side is showing. So let's go ahead and do that. So you could do that with washi tape or, you know, piece of book page and then fold that over. So now we got that side of the page and we have that side of the page. And if you don't want to use washi tape because maybe you have like a really vintage look, 
then you would use um, you could use the, the you know glue on some book page. Um, trying to figure out, and I'm thinking maybe you don't have to leave the eighth of an inch. I don't know. I can't tell what it's wanting to do right now. We should try that again. Let's try it again. Let's try this again. Nope, it wants to rip my page, which is not a problem because I'm gonna cover that again with a washi tape. All right, first of all, I want this to be straight. So where do I have this? So this needs to fold here, where I have the original fold. That was part of my problem. So then when I come over here, well, that will stick onto that washi tape. So, what you can do is, don't mind me, I have not thought this out. Alright, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take that off, and we're going to try without doing See, normally I always think you have to leave that eighth of an inch so it folds well, but that might not work for this. So let's try again. Yep, I'm just winging it, people. So let's go all the way to the edge and let's go ahead and put the washi tape down. I'm glad I didn't glue it. And then fold that and come on the other side. And now, I mean, you could uh, put a fresh tape, fresh piece, and put the washi tape on this side. So that one does work better to not leave your eighth of an inch. And as the book is closed, it will stay down better. Also, you can use um, your fingernails, bone folder, whatever. I don't know how you, to get it nice and creased. And there you go. So that's one way to do it on the outside of your pages. And let's see. You could also do it. Which way does this go? So I could also just, what you could even do, if you like one side more than the other side, which I think I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna make a big pocket. Where do I wanna make my pocket? Definitely don't wanna cover Grover. I have a pocket there, let's see. Also, if you have a short page, um, you could add it on to the short page, like, you could even just, like if you didn't care what was on that page, you could just, oh, let's do that. Let's see, which page do I like better? That doll creeps me out. Let's cover her, <laughs> or it, or whatever it is. All right, so I'm going to make a pocket on, oh, I have a pocket on here. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. I'm gonna make a pocket here. And then I'm going to put this side of the page here to, so that'll make a pocket on the other side of that and then this flips out like this and once that dries I'll have a pocket here so that is another way to add a page. You can just make it a pocket on a shorter page and then be able to flip it out. Or you could have done it the other way and it could flip this way. Doesn't matter which way it flips. That, that's not important. Like here's another, well this is actually already a pocket, but it's also a short page. So I could take a, a specialty page or whatever and just glue it onto there like I could just glue that right onto there. I'm going to glue that right on there because it just looks nice against there. Even though I'm, I'm going to be covering my... Uh, and that's already a pocket. I don't need an additional pocket. I still want some of that dyed paper to show. Also, glue in the outside of washi tape doesn't always... I'm not always happy. But, oh well. 
and my paper was short enough that it's still even though I put it out there so there oh I was gonna put it the other way I don't know what I was thinking but I like it that way too and then I can put something else on the back of this if I wanted to uh, let's see what else all right, let me take out one of these pages because I really like these pages and want some for myself. Oh, he's so cute. All right, I can't remember if these are. Yeah, they are. Let me, let me entertain you. That is not the tune, not even close. So this is just, you know, different ideas and there's other videos and other people out there that have ideas these are not original ideas they're just ideas now okay this one's the glued on one so I'm gonna take this one whoops and um I don't necessarily uh, I need it shorter, but I don't want to lose his beak, and I don't want to lose that poem. So we will lose some of the flowers on the end, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and... It needs to be shorter. Yes, I'll put the cover on that. Lost the cover for a while. Great, scary, isn't it? So, I actually... I would have sold this journal when I first made it. The problem was my holes didn't match up, which is why you see a lot of washi tape in there. Um, but I love Grover, so, you know, I'm good with keeping it. Alright, now it is narrow enough to fit on a page. And you could do this from the top or from the bottom. I'm going to fold over the top. So I'll do this from the top almost be like a fabric flip but so you can do a flip up or flip down where I want to put this you don't have to put it on the page I was just on one oh I like it against with that green across all right so yep easy peasy just gonna take that fold where I just folded it probably folded it crooked that's okay Perfection is not the aim of the game, because this is junk journaling, not engineering. You have to be precise and exact in things like architecture. Architecture? Architect. Architect. Architecture. Architecture. Oh my goodness. Anyway, so this is another way you could do a flip up, and just the same, you could have done the fold on the bottom and done a flip down. So flip ups and flip downs and flip outs and flip sins and all the, let's see, is there anything I'm missing? Am I forgetting anything? Where'd my notebook go? <laughs> let's see. So the washi tape or glue paper add from the edge or from the center. Um, you can add it onto a short page, fold it over the edge. Oh, and she asked about envelopes too. So I had an envelope. Oh, there's like a little page too I could stick in here was supposed to be for also you could even take like your little pages or specialty papers and turn it into a pocket or a tuck spot and then actually I'm gonna do that I'm gonna turn this into a tuck spot and it'll also be a journal spot but you know what it'll be kind of hard to use this far into the book so I'm gonna put it closer to the beginning where I actually have a chance of Um, being able to write on it, you know, while it's open. You know, maybe your vintage pages you have can be broken down and be used like that. Um, what else? What else? What else? Why aren't you guys yelling out ideas? I need ideas. Oh, these are actual journal books. Let's see. My me, and so she said specialty pages and 
and envelopes. Oh, envelopes. I had an envelope. I said I had an envelope like five times. I said I, envelopes are actually pretty easy. Um, you could just fold it like this. So this is a pocket and then you could cut the top to make it a pocket and just fold that around the edge of a page. So if there was an envelope that you wanted to put in your signature and you forgot, so now you don't have it in here like this, just you can just put it around the edge of a page like that. Or you could make it a tuck on the side and then still be a place to put things. You can also glue that down and um, or whatever or and uh, you know cut off the end to make it a pocket that way or a pocket on the top or you could just glue this part on here and you can make this a double tuck over here just by putting a line of glue right here so then you can tuck something in up there tuck something in down there it helps if your envelopes not bigger than your page but you know that's what I grabbed. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else? So let's see. Oh, you could also just glue it in as a pocket and then I could cut the top off and that'd be a pocket. Or if you look in my, you could fold it over like that and cut across here and have an envelope like with a thing and then glue it on as a pocket or as a tuck spot. And of course you could envelope, that's easy enough too. You can, ooh, you could do this. Say you have a side pocket like this. You can go ahead and fold it like that to near the center but not all the way to. Glue it inside the edge of this and then you've got a tuck spot here and over here and then just cut the top here for a pocket and you could or you could even just ooh, let's do that hold on first of all let me glue this together I'm gonna close the envelope because I don't need it open and what I might do since I'm not using that as a tuck spot I'm going to go ahead and glue this to the inside of that pocket, which will still be a side tuck pocket. But now things won't fall out behind here, so you could still tuck stuff back there. And you could do this with an envelope or you could do it with paper, doesn't matter. And then I'm going to fold that here. I'm going to cut across the top of this just a sliver so I can get into that as a pocket. And I'm going to glue oh, and I'm going to cut the end here just a sliver because I still want that red, white, and blue showing right because it's a whatchamacallit envelope and the reason we have those is for that. And then I'm going to glue here and glue here and fold that over. So now we've added a, a, uh, an envelope that we might have intended for the signature, but missed the signature. And now we've made it so we can have pockets. I'm looking for something to use as a tag. You know, I have like a million tags around me and all of a sudden I'm like, I don't know what to use. All right. So then we have a pocket here, a pocket here, a pocket up here, and we have our tuck spot back here. So one, two, three, plus our tuck spot back here. So that's fun. See, if you guys just get me like you know, winging it and trying stuff. You never know what I might come up with. I mean, not that it hasn't been done before, but it might have. And then of course, if you have a short page and you just want to add a page, you just glue on your page. So I've got some of these beautiful um, images from Took's craft table and I'm going to stick a 
couple of those in there, but I'm going to make them single pages. And I'm going to give them little, little ripped edges. Uh, you probably noticed I don't have a lot of inking going on in this journal. So probably won't do that. All right, let's find another short page somewhere. I usually have short pages in here somewhere. Usually. <laughs> um, almost always, but you know, not when I'm looking for it. I don't want to do anything with that because it's fragile. We're going to turn this into a short page. I'm just going to fold that in because it's uh, not super strong to begin with. Come on. So I'm going to fold that and glue it down, which will strengthen the page because this kid's paper is super... It's not very strong paper. It's pretty much newsprint paper with lines on it, right? And then... Oh, my paper's still a little bit on the tall side. Uh, I guess I'm going to cut some more off because I want to make it fit. There we go. And then I could leave some there or I could do that. I could make it a pocket or I could just glue it on. Um, you've already seen me do a pocket and I think I've got enough pockets in here. But what I might even do, because I don't care about this page. This was like when I first started making journals and I was using the pages that everyone else was like, oh, these are cheap, these are cheap. I don't love that as a page, let's be honest. So now, oh, whoops, I told you it was fragile. I, uh, nope, guess it's staying there whether I want it to or not. And then what I might do is go ahead and take this other one and put it on the other side. I love the color of this um, kit. This is, I said, right, Took's Craft Table? Perfect for spring. I can't remember the name of it, but you can go check out her store. Took's Craft Table is the name of the store. Um, where do I want to cut off from? The top or the bottom. I take a little bit off the bottom, but not too much. And how much more do I need? A little bit off the top. We're going to lose the top of our crest. And widthwise, I should be fine because I can go in or out a little bit more if I want to. So yeah, that's all That's all you do is you could just take a short page and you don't have to go in as far as it. The only reason I went in on this one as far as I did is because I just, I prefer these pages to the one that was already in there. <laughs> and I realize now I could have just folded that over, but I didn't. So that's where it is. That's just the way it is. Yeah, now I got a whole new page in there. Okay, let's see. What have we covered so far? Well, obviously, I got this page wet at some point. Alright, so... We can do pages using either washi tape or the other thing coming in this way. Or going this way. Or going this way, or going that way, or a single page, doing any of those things. Uh, going around a page, which of course you could go around the top, the bottom, or the side of the page. Um, I think I put ideas in here. Oh look, Gail's top 10 ephemera. See what I put? I, I put all kinds of stuff in here. Um, let's see. And then you can use it as a pocket. I don't know. I think I did. I think I did okay. Let's let's review the question. 
how do you uh, how do you add book pages, specialty pages, envelopes, etc. to your junk journals after you've already bound it? So uh, yeah, hopefully that helps. Um, like yeah, I'm hoping that helps. I'm trying. Oh, I know why this is so thick. Ha <laughs> ha. My aunt. This is a birthday card she sent me, and she made it into like a little, a little tiny junk journal. This is my aunt that got me into junk journals. So yeah, love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I think I added this to the front so that because uh, I think that was or she did. I don't remember. Ooh, don't see your address though. You know, I have to keep it there in case I want to mail stuff to her, even though it's in my phone. So, yeah, I think that is it. I hope I helped you guys. Anybody who was having that question, if you have... Oh, another, also, you could just paperclip them in. You could make a cute little adorable paperclip and just paperclip things in. And that way, if you want decide you want to use them a different way later, you can. Or... If you're, you know, selling it or giving it away, the other person might have other ways that they want to use it than as a book page, too. So, yep. Yay, he's so cute. All right. You guys have a delightful day. Um, happy Valentine's Day. Uh, this will be going out today, February 14th. So, share the love in a legal way. <laughs> in a not overwhelming way. What, Hallie? Oh, you guys got to see this. What's the matter? You just want a nap and I'm talking? Have a delightful day, everybody. There's my Valentine. Will you be my girl? My girl. Talking about my girl. My girl. Hi, girly. Love you guys.